barbecue fam today we're doing up some baby back bacon wrapped ribs on a slow and sear kettle oh hell yeah we're cooking at 275 go grab your rack and a slab of bacon let's get to wrapping this is gonna be amazing oh hell yeah game changer right here baby backs we're gonna cut the fat in so you can just pull them out and wipe them down try not to make as much of a mess as possible slide it on out wrap that guy up then come in here with a paper towel get this membrane gone all you gotta do is pull underneath right in the center yank it up sometimes you get some little bit of flaps here get them with a paper towel easy peasy easy enough right it doesn't always happen that easy, just saying. So now just cut the bones individually. Start the other end. I'm just gonna hit it with this honey chipotle killer bee. Now you could season before or after the bacon. I choose to go before. Flip them, repeat, wrap. Try to get all sides. Try to pull your bacon out an hour before this process. I failed to do so. I've only got about 20 minutes at a room temp rest on some bacon, so it's not gonna spread as good, but it's gonna taste damn good. To speed up the process, you can just rub it down. It'll stretch out a little bit, warm up, just from the temperature of your hands. And don't use a thick cut bacon. So the setup on the kettle grill today is going to be an indirect cook in the slow and sear basket. We're using charcoal briquettes and a couple chunks of applewood. We'll get that lit up while these are chilling. And we'll have these guys on the grill at 275 for, I'm guessing, at least two and a half, three hours individual ribs cook much quicker but these are a little meatier so you want your internal temp on these guys about 200 205 degrees right around there you pull it and let it rest it's going to raise the temp up a little bit more so if you pull it right around 200 you're going to be fine as long as your bones are pulling through it's going to be awesome now if you want to season here you can a different layer of flavor if you want i'm just going to let it chill just like this get this grill fired up Get it up the temp, and uh, we're getting this loaded in, and we'll be devouring these in a few hours. We're cooking these baby bag bacon-wrapped ribs on the slow and sear kettle at 275. Once we're coming up the temp, we're going to put them on the grate. I would say put them on a wire rack, but I'm too damn lazy to clean those things. They're a pain in the ass, let's just say it. Time to load up the grill, get this dialed in, clean up, hang out have cold one. Oh hell yeah. Put all gonna stand. Just keep them separate. These baby back ribs are done. They're right at the 200 mark. So we need to glaze them. We're gonna nail it with some cherry apple habanero 
barbecue glaze from Cosmos. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna spice things up today. We'll let that tack up for five, 10 minutes, flip them, same process, pull them, let them rest. Oh, oh and devour. These baby back bacon wrapped ribs are done. Oh hell yeah, they smell amazing. Let's pull them, get them on the board, and let them rest before we bite into one. You know it. I think we got a game changer here for sure. 275, two and a half, about almost three hours. But two and a half hours, glazed it and that for about five minutes each side. That is it. Pull them, and this is what we got. We are resting, and we're gonna devour these guys. Oh, hell yeah. Now, let's dive in on one of these badass cherry apple habanero glazed bacon wrapped baby back ribs oh that's a mouthful but so is one of these look at that guy time for the taste test oh hell yeah cheers folks Wow. That is amazing. And not too hot. That honey chipotle killer bee, just that, is delicious on ribs. And then this cherry apple habanero glaze oh hell yeah comes off the bone but it's not falling apart two and a half hours speed up the cook it's still at the same temp 275 I'm going in for one more because that is killer I thought it was gonna be really hot this is perfect There is so much flavor in that. You you gotta go do this one for sure. Especially if you're short on time and you want ribs, cut them up individually. Smoke them at 275. Wrap them in bacon. Man, this is rocking. You gotta go do this one. Cheers and give me a thumbs up for that because that is killer.